Hello again, everyone, and welcome. Thanks for joining us to At Home with the Gamecocks, presented by Ford. Uh, this is one of those you just know it's going to be fun when you sit down and talk to this guy. Dustin Hill, head athletic trainer, joins us here. So we're going to catch up with him and what's been going on during the pandemic. I know he's probably had a couple of Zoom calls in the midst of all this. Uh, first of all, the best at home so far. Pool in the background, getting ready to, to celebrate the holiday. And I tell you, the, the shirt spot on for this today i did this just for you voice and you know just so hey and also our veterans you know memorial right. day weekend to remember those who serve so yeah so i thought it was a proper attire for this uh for this interview bringing that up anybody in your family that's a veteran that served yeah i've had i've had i've had several i've got several family members that, that serve so uh both both men and women so uh yeah and and I'm I've, I've always been kind of a patriotic guy anyway. You know I've got the American flag flying at the house. And, you know I've just I've just kind of how I was brought up. But uh, yeah, so it's you know big weekend and you know remembering those who, who served. All right, let's talk a little bit about what's going on. Uh, first of all, uh, the pandemic. I know a lot of people are tired of talking about it and everything, but your family, everybody's good and safe at this point in time. Yeah. Yeah, everything, everything's good. Thanks for asking. Uh, uh, everybody's been been fine uh, on on my side. So uh, so far, so good. I know there's a lot of a lot of people out there suffering, but you know, uh, I've I've been blessed. All right, went to school Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Started your sports medicine career down there, and then to to Hattiesburg to Southern Miss, and then lovely Denton, Texas, and North Texas. Uh, well, it used to be North Texas State. Now it's North Texas, but. In all your years of doing this, did you ever think you'd be going through something like you're going through right now? Never. Not, not even close. I mean, this is – I mean, we, we've had some stuff that's happened over the years, but this is just unprecedented. This is just – it's uh, – to answer your shortly question, no. It, it, I never would have thought we'd be, I'd be dealing with something like this. Well, in talking with you, I know you've got contacts all across the country, and I, I, the hurry up and wait expression, I guess, is that the best way to put it? Because there's still just so many things and, and unanswered questions, and you may not have answers to those questions for a while still. Am I right in saying that? Yes. No, uh, it's not only that. I think uh, the – and you're right. I, you know, I'm on, I'm on these calls every day. I average probably about four or five a day. Uh, and, um, and yesterday was actually my national call, a bunch of my colleagues, my good friends of mine that, that's uh, around the country and, and other conferences, big conferences, Power Five conferences. Uh, and I think the, the interesting thing about, you know, we're trying, we're trying to set up a plan and what we're going to do, and, um, but how each state is different. And I think that's the big that, – that's, that's the kind of the thing that's really – troublesome for everybody uh, is uh, you know different states open up at <clears throat> different times and uh, um, but it, it seems like and this is just my opinion it seems like you know you've got people that come out and say stuff and then and I think everybody wants answers uh, but I think you got to be pretty diligent and and smart about some of the stuff that you put out there and say because a lot of those is these people that are putting stuff out there, they're, they're like predicting the future and we don't know what's the future is going to be, you know, uh, from the standpoint of sports in the fall and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, that's the interest value. You have somebody, they'll say something and then all of a sudden a week or two, that's it's flip flop and changed, or, you know, we, we can now go this way, but now we got to, we're going to go this way. And, and it's just, and, it, and us being in the health health field, you know, we're just trying to follow this windy road that that is um, and trying to develop something that is going to be prudent, safe for our student athletes when they return to campus and, and with our athletic department staff and making sure that, uh, you know, we are, we're taking the best care for them. But uh, well, here in a few here in a few days, I mean, they're going to be back. Football, men's and women's basketball have been given the clearance by the NCAA. So I guess basically immediately you got to you get started with some things in, with, at least with that group, do you not? Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time uh, writing our protocol 
and um, you know it's about a 10 to 12 page protocol uh, it was challenging just from the fact of what I just mentioned before I, I'd get stuff written down in, in phases or whatever and, and then all of a sudden there's been a legislation change or something like that and then we I'd have to go back and edit and you know uh, that was a challenging part but I, I feel really good about our our uh, our protocol uh, so we we are ready for our, our our guys and our girls to get back and um, and uh, I think it was just important that for us as a, as an athletic department to have something in place not only for to follow and and to make sure things are, are done the right way and have a plan of what we do but it's also it's a good tool also for student athletes and their parents you know to let them know right. that you know hey we do have a plan We're there. There is, there's actions is going to take place. Uh, and, and, uh, we're, we're going to be taking care of your, of your child. So, uh, I think that was an important thing too, so we can get that out there. Cause I know there's many questions, not only for the athletes, but also the parents. Well, once those student athletes return, whether it's June 1st or are thereafter volleyball and soccer coming in in August, uh, it's going to be very different for the student athlete. Is it not? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know, our, our deal is basically like a, a three phase program uh, where we're going to be grouping these, uh, these student athletes and a, a limited number. Uh, you know, the first uh, the first phase, you know, you can't have more than 10 people uh, that's, uh, that's going to be able to interact and work out and, and condition at a time. And then, um, you know, during that time also, we're doing a COVID screen on them, a COVID-19 screen, along with them, we're doing a daily screen. Every day, they're getting a daily medical screen uh, to make sure that there's not been any changes from the day before. Uh, and uh, um, so, and temperature readings, that kind of deal. Uh, and if, the, and if, the, if that goes well, and there's, and those, that's a two week period, if that goes well, then you can move into a next phase, which that increases your numbers. Everything pretty much stays the same, but it just increases your number until we get to that point of that phase three, where we've, we've pretty much got everybody on campus that we have hadn't had any issues in four weeks. So we feel very comfortable that we can really open up some stuff to doing a larger group type function. So uh, it's, I think it's a good plan. Uh, I think the, the coaches are all on board. They've been very receptive of it. So um, it's good, but it's just going to be a different environment when they get back, you know, which is how, how we're going to be doing it. Are you getting a pay raise while this work you've been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I, I wish I could have a, a body double just to do all these zoom calls, but uh <laughs> Uh, but you're you know, sitting that, by the pool. It can't be all that bad. You know, I, know, I think, you know, it's interesting. I think that somebody, somebody had mentioned to me, they did a study on, on this for doing the Zoom calls that it's actually more, you know, uh, tiresome and stressful right. doing these calls. And it actually is, you know, in-person meetings. And, uh, and I, I will have to agree with that. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. Right. So you won't have time to wet a hook now, will you? I know it's been uh, it's been difficult. I, I mean, but it has allowed me some time to uh, you know get some projects done and doing some stuff around the house and and, and that kind of deal. And uh, you know, uh, and I, I think it also in a lot of people in a lot of aspects that it, it's given the opportunity to people to uh, kind of not take for granted the things. You know, you're able to spend some more time with your family and stuff where we're not used to. I mean, you know what our schedule is like in athletic right. park. So, uh, you know, those things you kind of take for granted. And uh, so that's been a, that's been a welcoming deal there, but, uh, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite different for sure. Well, save the shirt. You can put it to use uh, another holiday too here. <laughs> That'll be 4th of July, all that but, stuff, yeah. man, it'll work. Yeah, this is, this is, the, this is the perfect, you know, patio pool area uh, shirt, you know, that's the, one of the projects I'm doing right now. I'm building me a, a patio right behind me here i got a building a patio bar uh and uh you know with a roof and everything i'm gonna put a tv in it that you know on sundays you know during football season after we get done with treatments come home and sit out here and relax and maybe put on the gamecocks on the tv a little bit watch the replay of the game so you know so when do we all get invited to big d's uh, pool there you can come anytime brother you can come <laughs> any time so all right, just man. show up the door is open I appreciate it. I may take you up on that. Uh, stay safe. See you soon. Thanks for taking some time with us. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, boys. Always a pleasure.
Thank you. Dustin Hill, Jacksonville State Head Athletic Trainer, our guest on At Home with the Gamecocks, presented by Ford.